Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video that's going to be a full face of celebrity makeup brands. I am actually kind of excited. I think I have like six or seven brands here. We'll see at the end how many there are, but I am going to do each and every step except one with a celebrity uh, makeup brand. And I'm going to let you know what I think about these because I have some thoughts. I do have some thoughts about these and maybe you can let me know as well which is your favorite celebrity makeup brand because they have definitely been popping up like little mushrooms throughout this past two, three years. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I am such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related, especially things that are a little bit colorful. So I'm gonna try and do a colorful makeup look today, even though I am just getting ready to go to the vet with my pets, but I'm still doing colors. So if you wanna see more of that, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. <laughs> and we're not doing anything, let me get into it. I'm not doing anything specific at the pets. Like they're not sick. I feel like I have a hair here. They're not sick. We just need to get flea medicine. <laughs> we just need to get flea medicine. So that's why we're going to the veterinary. So, and if you hear the cat meowing in the background, that's her being very upset about being indoors. So I have the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. This is going to be my first impression using this one. And I have it in two different shades. I feel like Rare Beauty is one of the um, celebrity brands that was like, accepted with pretty much open arms it came out at the cusp before people were just really sick and tired of celebrity brands and i got it in 26 w which is the shade that rare beauty sent to me and then i have it in 22 w which is the shade that i bought for myself and i will say it's very rare that a brand sends me a shade that's darker than what i would have picked up myself because usually brands will they're like oh she's swedish she probably has the lightest shade so this is described as a light medium with a warm undertone. I do not have any self tanner on right now um, because I'm actually, this might be good. I just scrubbed my face like literally 15 minutes before filming this video. I had an exfoliating mask on. I think this is going to be a good shade for me when I don't have a tan. I'm actually going to be by the pool tomorrow. Tomorrow it's going to be... 37 celsius which is like 98 like fahrenheit that's what's going to be tomorrow here in austin and i am going to be by the pool i am so excited this is going to be my first pool day since coming to austin i really like rare beauty i've tried quite a few rare beauty items and we are going to use one more in this video and i like it i like rare beauty i like the stuff that i've tried i don't like all the stuff that i tried i will say the one bad thing for me with rare beauty is that i find it very tricky to find my shade match um like very tricky with the foundation and with the concealer i bought those online when i was still in sweden and i didn't get the right shade in any of those <laughs> that was that was a little bit tricky and then i actually tried this foundation in store and i feel like it was a little bit easier to get a good shade even though i will say that yeah, when I have a tan, this will definitely not be my shade, but maybe this one will. Although this one is described as a medium with an olive undertone, and I do not have an olive undertone. So we're gonna have to see how that works out. I will say that this is a skin tint. So this is a light coverage, very de dewy skin tint. So we're gonna see how that holds up today because I am, like I said, gonna be a little bit out and about running errands today. We're going to the vet to get some flea medicine for the cats because we don't want our cats to get fleas. Not because they have fleas, but we were told that we should get those like preventative medicines for fleas. You don't really have a problem with that. Um, in Sweden, I don't think it's a thing that you really give your pets, but apparently here it's something that they do recommend. So we are gonna do that. Like I said, I really do like Rare Beauty. I think that they make really good products. This one, depending on how it dries down, because I don't like when things are this glowy, we're gonna have to see. This is a brand that I've only tried one product from before, and this is Rose Ink, and this is the brand by Rose Huntington Whitley. I will say that I am not fairly, I mean, I know who Selena Gomez is, and I know who Rosie Huntington Whitley is, but I haven't really seen a lot of movies with neither of them. I haven't really listened to a lot of Selena Gomez's music, so I'm not, I'm not like, 
I never really understood like, so what are they really famous for? Like I understood model actress, singer actress, but like I never really saw them in movies and stuff. But yeah, this one, I've tried the skin tint from before and I actually really like it. That one's a very sheer coverage though. And this is the concealer. Is this gonna be a good shade? I think this is gonna be even better when I either have a self tan or a tan. Because I feel like this is my skin tone, but that's also good for spot concealing that. I got LX050. Let's cover up a little bit of... I have some discolorations here. Let's see how this works out. I've heard really good things about this concealer. I really like the packaging. I feel like this is very trendy. The arch. That's still like, it's so trendy. Like I see it on everything, especially on home decor. So I feel like the packaging is actually really cute and really, really trendy. Have you seen those mirrors that has like the arch? I really like them. I kind of want to get one for the hallway. It definitely has some coverage. I don't have a powder from a celebrity brand. Please let me know which is your favorite, if there's one that I haven't tried. I really want to try House Labs, but they are going through some kind of a rebrand as I'm filming this. And I'm very, very curious to see what that is. When you're seeing this video, that rebrand has already been announced. So please let me know what you think about that as well. I cannot wait to myself, like, react to that. Because I am very curious to try it because I do love Lady Gaga. But yeah, it hasn't been announced as I'm watching this. I will say... I don't prefer or I don't love a full coverage concealer with a very light coverage um, like foundation or skin tint and I feel like this concealer is maybe a little bit too full coverage to be good with a skin tint. I actually brought out one of my favorite concealers. This is from Fenty. This is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. This one is a medium coverage uh, concealer. It dries down but has a matte satin finish. This one is great if you're doing skin tints or like light coverage foundations. It's one of my favorite concealers for those kind of finishes. I'm actually gonna fix a little bit with powder. I'm just gonna use my favorite NYX powder because I actually do not have a powder from a celebrity brand. I used to have the uh, powder from Fenty, but I didn't love that powder on me. It wasn't perfect for me, so I actually decluttered it and gave it away to a friend. Okay, so I just powdered a little bit in my T-zone. I didn't powder on my cheeks because I am gonna be using the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. So far, this is my favorite product from Rare Beauty. And in second place is the Rare Beauty uh, Liquid Balms. Oh, that is so beautiful. I, honestly, that is probably one of the top three makeup products that I reach for when I'm not filming. That Liquid Balm, I think I have it in Nearly Nude. It's absolutely beautiful. But this bronzer stick, I think I might be using this shade today because like I said, I do not have any self-tanner on. But I did buy one shade darker in Happy Soul. I bought this during the Sephora sale. Uh, because I wanted to have one when I do have a tan and when I do have a tan this one is basically my skin color So it's like not, not ideal for me during summers So I think I'm gonna be using this one not today, but like maybe next week But I just wanted to let you know that I did actually buy a second one and that's how much I love this product I think I have bought all of these products with my own money Except one of these shades the one that I didn't use from Rare Beauty and a couple of things from about face that we are going to be using So let me just put the bronzer on and like I said when it comes to this product This is one of the best products that I have tried this year. I know it was released on the cusp between Like 2021 and 2022. I'm pretty sure that this was released between Christmas and New Year's But yeah, this is one of the best products that I've tried this year believe the hype it is definitely worth the hype and then some it is an absolutely absolutely stunning product i like to take it down a little bit here as well because i am very wide here remember when you are bronzing or when you're contouring or when you're like doing anything to your face like that remember to not look too closely at what other people are doing and if you are looking too closely at what other people are doing make sure that you're at least choosing someone that has the same face shape as you because there is no point in trying to shape your face in a face shape that you don't have so make sure to check on that but i like taking my bronzer down here to like slim that part down because I have a very wide this part. Look at my peach fuzz, peach fuzz. Once I've done this, I'm actually gonna do my brows and I am gonna be using from Give Beauty, which is Gwen Stefani. I think 
that this is like the newest brand to have been released even though I tried some things from REM Beauty which is Ariana Grande's brand I tried that after this one but the brand itself is older than the Give Beauty I feel like Give Beauty has a lot of potential to be a really good brand and the, why I'm saying this is that the products that I tried from the brand are incredibly good quality. This brow pencil, it's great. I've been using this brow pencil every day for like two weeks now. It is honestly such a great brow pencil. If you are looking for a new brow pencil, I definitely recommend it. It has like, it almost looks like a blade. And it's thin on one side so that you can draw in hairs and then it's a little bit flatter on the other side. Honestly, packaging, color, formula, it's a really good one. I really recommend this brow pencil. And I'm gonna be honest, I think the other things that I tried from Give Beauty are really good quality as well. Even though they might not be my perfect colors, but that matte bullet red lipstick, that formula is so good. I cannot wait to have that lipstick in more colors. I really hope that that comes because that's how good I think that lipstick formula is. So I'm just gonna do a little brows with this one. And I think I'm gonna use a little bit of my NYX pen as well because I love that. And then we can get into, ooh, blush and highlighter. Cause I have a highlighter to try that I've never tried from a brand that I only own one product from. I don't think that Fenty has do they have anything else? This is in Fenty Glow. This is a limited edition one that came out for like Christmas, like two years ago, but I still have it and I still love it. And I know that like a lot of times people will be like, why don't you use your limited edition makeup more? Like we are, we don't care if it's discontinued, but I will say a lot of people will be very upset if you use stuff that they can't get a hold of. Some people watch beauty channels as like the shopping network basically being like what can i buy and some people watch youtube more as a inspirational like shop your stash try to find something similar and some people watch it purely for entertainment they're like not even into makeup which is totally fine i watch youtube for inspirational slash entertainment like i buy what i buy but i also have like a different view on all it i think let me see if I can wipe this off. This is a beautiful formula. And I honestly, this is my favorite color in Fenty Glow. Really hope that she would come out with this as like a not limited edition because it's so great. I guess it's just a nice warm peachy brownie beige. And I honestly think it's so beautiful. I really like these cream blushes. I have another one in Fuego something. Fuego something, the orange one, that's also so beautiful. I will say, when it comes to Fenty Beauty, I mean, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, I feel like we all, I feel like at this point, it is like the one that we are comparing all other brands to because they were not first, but they were one of the first ones and they were one of the ones that was really welcomed with open arms because people love Rihanna and because she did that like really cool thing with like a bunch, a bunch of shades of foundations when she came out. I feel like she's the bar that we're holding all our other celebrity brands towards. And I think that that is a good thing and a bad thing because Fenty Beauty does a lot of things really good, but I also like their eyeshadows. They're not all that. And I think that other brands do that better. Although I will say, I have tried, because I am bringing out a, I have a highlighter here from Arm Beauty and I have one from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the only thing I own from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm not like the biggest, f I don't know about the Kardashians. I didn't even know that Kylie Jenner was a Kardashian until she started a makeup brand. Because that, that's what it took for me. And I've never tried her reformulation. Uh, I did try, I think like three things or something from her old brand. She did that peach palette. I think I've tried her liquid lipsticks and maybe a gloss, maybe a gloss. This is the highlighter in Ice Me Out. I don't care about Kylie Cosmetics. I don't care about Kylie Jenner. There's a lot of celebrities that I don't care about, but I honestly like, I don't know why she's famous. That is very, very icy. I should probably have picked a darker shade. This is probably a good shade if you are fair to light this is very icy and you all know i'm not the biggest fan of an icy highlighter i will say though i don't see any glitter particles and it is very very shiny so that is honestly 
that's a really high quality highlighter in my humble opinion and i felt the same about orion beauty orion beauty's highlighter is incredibly good quality this is the one in miss mercury it is so beautiful it's also a little too icy for me maybe not as icy as this one because this one is icy icy it was also called iced out so i don't know what i what i was thinking orion beauty is one of those brands it's by ariana grande she really came out on the wrong side of people being excited about celebrity brands because nobody was excited about Orion Beauty. I actually, first time I saw the packaging on picture, I was like, this looks ugly. But now that I've seen it in real life, it's heavy. It feels really luxurious. And I'm kind of liking the retro Star Trek sci-fi vibes. I kind of like the packaging now that I've seen it in real life. So I, I think that like, it didn't really photograph well, but in real life, it actually looks really nice. I do have a video where I'm trying this brand out, and I kind of liked what I tried. This highlighter is honestly... It's really good. Is this a good shade match for me? I feel like maybe I'm a little, little too pale for this. Or maybe it is a good shade match for me now that I don't have any self-tanner. Right? Or is it like a hair too dark? I think it's fairly okay. I think it's fairly okay. Okay, one of the brands that I honestly think is the most innovative when it comes to celebrity makeup brands is About Face. And I'm gonna try their eye paints again. I have tried them before. I did uh, try a lot of About Face back in... I actually have one of these like palettes here that I can blend it on. Oh, it's not called a palette. In Sweden, you would call this a palette. What would you call this in English? Mixing? No, I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna take white. I'm gonna take pink. I'm gonna link these down below I did get sent these as PR uh, and I'm gonna take red. I did try this out when the brand launched I tried some of these paints uh, Well the dark green paint and I really liked it as an eyeshadow and recently I just have it like here and I'm just gonna be blending with like a brush and recently I tried I'm not doing a primer because these are like liquid shadows. Recently, I tried a yellow one on top of powders and it did not work at all on top of powders. Like, honestly, it was like not looking good at all. So now I'm going to be using these again and I am going to use them just to paint on my lids. Oh, hello. <laughs> just to paint on my lids. These are from the Rainbow Collection that she came out with recently. I bought a couple of these myself and then the whole collection got sent to me as PR. I have really, really been enjoying the eye primer actually that About Face has lately. It's a really, really good eye primer. Is this a good shape? I don't know what I'm doing. Famous last words. But I've really been enjoying that one. Let me take a little bit of the pink. And I do feel like About Face has interesting concepts, interesting formulas, interesting just view on makeup, just like painting your makeup on. And I feel like Halsey is doing her own makeup, which Gwen Stefani is as well. I don't know if Rihanna does her own makeup. I don't know if Selena does her own makeup. I don't think that they're like known for doing their own makeup, but Gwen Stefani and Halsey, they're known for making, doing their own makeup. I don't think that I could be wrong, but I don't feel like Kylie Jenner is doing her own makeup. Again, I could be wrong. I remember these being fairly easy to blend, even though they were like a liquid, like a liquid shadow. I remember you were able to blend on these like they were a powder shadow. And I remember them being fairly easy to work with. Just not on top of powders. Okay, I'm gonna manipulate this a little bit, but so far, I'm enjoying myself. I'm loving and also like the blend between the two. Big fan. Okay, I added a little bit of the white in here as well. And honestly, these are so easy to work with. These are so easy to work with. I also added the REM Beauty. This is like the eyeliner in white. It is really good, really good. I'm gonna keep using it. It is not the absolute best eyeliner I've ever tried, like white eyeliner, but it is the best white eyeliner that I have tried that is not discontinued. And that means something too. 
But yeah, I really like it. And yeah, I've only used these three. I will link everything in the description box. Check the description box for more info. I only used these three and I blended them together with normal eyeshadow brushes. And I feel like it looks really good. I could leave it like this, but I am going to be using another product from Aryan Beauty that I did use in my video about Aryan Beauty, but I wasn't... Oh, there's a little... <laughs> eyelash glue on here but I wasn't able to use as much of it as I actually wanted to and that is the liquid shadow that is in the shade oh that is small writing lab coat which is like a it is like a almost transparent base with like a silvery like, no it's actually like a pink to gold duochrome but it is so frosted it almost gives off like a white sheen it's hard to explain but i thought i was gonna use a little bit of this and i think i'm gonna take you know what i'll put it on the i still i used this one when i did uh, the eyeshadows i took from this one so maybe i'll put some of the the shimmery shadow on here too and i can take from that one and i just want to add a little bit and I feel like, I mean, these have dried down now, the liquid shadows. I really hope that she will come up with these liquid shadows in shimmery format as well, because they're so easy to work with when you don't... I didn't use an eye primer or anything. I feel like they're so easy to work with when you don't layer them on top of other eyeshadows, when you start with them. Do I want to add even more shimmer? I think so. Maybe this wasn't the best brush. Okay, so I will say when I came closer, I did notice that it did break down the shadow a little bit underneath. So I feel like they are so easy to work with, these like about face shadows, when you use them alone. Because as soon as you start layering something else on top, like you're screwed. You're screwed. <laughs> and that is a shame because I want a formula that I can use together with other things. But this one, it just doesn't want to play with other things other than its own formula. And I feel like, yeah, then you're stuck to only using this one. And is it really, is it really that creative then? I feel like it's more limiting because yeah, it's definitely lifting in here. <laughs> That looks so atrocious. Let me actually take that off. Yeah, these do not mix well with other eyeshadows, which is a shame because ah, now I'm sad. I really wanted this to work. Why do you only work with your own eyeshadow formula and not with anything else? You don't work on top of powders. Ah, you don't work on top of eye primers. You don't work together with other liquid formulas makes me sad okay let me just redo this somewhat matte thing that i had okay i'm somewhat back to the matte look and i do like this it was probably a little bit better blended before because i had to just pack more shadows on but i still think it looks really good i will say this rare beauty skin tint it's very dewy it's very dewy and i wonder how this is gonna be because it is 35 degrees out today, uh, Celsius, what is it? it it's, it's close to 100, so it's very warm. I'm going to be using the About Face lip liners. These are really nice, creamy and nice. I had one of these uh, from before as well, but this one was sent to me in PR. I think I had Clockwork from before, and this one is in a Smoking Room. It's a nice, like, nude. I feel like I'm going to have to experiment a little bit with the skin tint, just because it is a little dewy and I mean I do not have dry skin and I'm living in a very very humid climate so I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling about that I'm gonna use the this is one of my favorite lip products from a celebrity brand this one and the liquid bombs from rare beauty absolutely amazing on oh, the matte lipstick from Gwen Stefani's line as well oh and rare beauty's bullet lipstick is beautiful too maybe what they're really like killing it at is lip products because i have a lot of really good favorites from celebrity brands this one is in uh, cookies and cocoa it's this like slim glowy lipstick from fenty again i will link it down below beautiful is that a cat hair in my nose that is 
we've reached a point. <laughs> Beautiful color. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna put on some falsies. Is this the last thing? I think this is the last step I am gonna put on these from Orion Beauty. They are in Grow and Show, which is a very awkward name for a pair of lashes, but Here we are. So I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna do some mascara. I used to have the Rare Beauty Mascara. I know that that is a huge favorite of Samantha March. I think it's Okay, I think the mascara is okay. Not my favorite. My favorite mascara is actually the Benefit Bad Gal Bang And I also love the mascara from We Makeup, the one, the original one It's called More. I think it's called More Mascara. That is an Italian in the red. Those are my two favorite mascaras I absolutely love them. I also really love the Sky High by Maybelline. That is a drugstore alternative. There we go We have a high-end, a drugstore and an indie brand. Three favorite mascaras. There we go So let me put the falsies on and we can have a final chat about what I really think about like Celebrity makeup brands. This is the final look. Everything is on. Uh, I've said this before in my REM Beauty video I don't think that these lashes are perfect for me. I prefer something that is a little bit more intense than these. I, I just I just do. There is something about these. They're nice, but they're not my favorite. I, I kind of wish that they were a little longer out here. I know, I'm picky. Here is the thing. All in all, most of the things that I have tried from celebrity brands are as good as things from non-celebrity brands. And I think the disconnect comes in when the celebrity brand is not necessarily reflecting the celebrity or our view on the celebrity or how we think the celebrity is like viewing makeup. And I do agree that sometimes when a celebrity that's not known for makeup or that clearly never did their makeup themselves since being famous is releasing a brand, it does make you go a little, huh? Why are you releasing a brand? I mean, we all know it's because they want to make money. You know, you need to diversify your income. I definitely get that. And like, since 2017-18, the it thing has been to create a brand and creating a brand takes a really long time. So I'm guessing a lot of the brands that started to come, like the vision started in 2018, maybe like released like two, three, four years later. And here we are, 2020. One was like the year of celebrity brands like they were coming out left right and center and we're still seeing them I will say though that One of the things that I have noticed is that most celebrity brands seems to be pretty well worked through It's obvious that these are not like the celebrities themselves sitting in the lab coming up with formulas but at least most of them is taking the time and capital that they actually do have at their disposal to hire at least the right team around them so that when they are releasing something, it is at least not a burning pile of garbage. And that's how I feel. What is my favorite celebrity brand? I think I would say... I think I would say Fenty and Rare Beauty because I've tried most products from those brands. I really do like the vision of About Face and I mean I like this eye look a lot. I think it looks pretty but I don't think that maybe all the products has been like 100% thought through. The eye primer is really beautiful though. It's the eye primer I'm using right now. Give from uh, Gwen Stefani. I really like the quality of the products. Right now the brand is just very very small and doesn't offer that many products and for that reason like the things I've tried have been nice but like I need to see more before I can like really form my opinion about it. When it comes to uh, Orion Beauty, they came up with a slew of products and I tried them and I think that some of them are really good, like the highlighter, the bullet lipstick, they're really nice. Those like topper shadows, that one is a nice shadow, it just didn't jive with the about face shadows. Those are really nice. The eyeshadow palette, the lip gloss, the lashes, it's not bad, it's just... It's just a little bit whatever. I, I just feel like it's a little lackluster. I don't think it's bad. The only thing that I didn't like was the blush stick. But I've heard from you in the comments that a lot of you really like them and apparently other YouTubers like them. Uh, but I thought they were a little bit like the Tower 28 blushes, like a little sticky. And I will say, you can see how glowy this is here. I'm having the air conditioning on. It is a hot day outside, but it's not hot in this room. It is not hot in this room. This is a very, very, very dewy skin tint. So I don't think that this is gonna be a skin tint for me because of that, because it is extremely humid here in Texas. 
And if there's one thing that I've noticed with my skin is that my skin is more uh, normal leaning oily with the high humidity and a really really glowy skin tint like this is probably just gonna look like I rolled myself in butter and I don't know if I'm gonna love that I'm gonna be honest is that all the brands I had Kylie Cosmetics I've not tried a lot and I think that this is the I'm not interested in the Kardashian so therefore like I don't care about the the brand i don't really care about kim kardashian's makeup brand either i own a lip liner from the brand before she rebranded that was good quality but again it's not something that i'm like dying to try i am dying to try the house laboratories though when she rebrands i think that that's going to be really good at least i think this is me speculating before i've seen it we'll see how i feel when i've actually seen it let me know down below is there any celebrity brand that you've tried where you were like surprised that it was like really good product do you have a holy grail from a brand like i would love to hear about it um do we need more celebrity makeup brands no do we need more makeup brands maybe not i don't know there's always a market for like someone to bring in a vision that we haven't seen before so i'm not closing the door there are always more visions to explore but do we need another pretty girl with minimal makeup to come with a new brand i think we I think those spots are filled. I think the spots are filled. Maybe we can chill with that for a little bit. We have makeup for that. These are just my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye.